Hi guys. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. It's May and Mel of Food Waste Feast, and we are going to do a very brief uh, chat today about making pickles. Pickles. Pickle time. Now, um, pickles used to be the kind of thing where I had, you know, growing up, it was like pickles are a cucumber flavored with dill in the fridge, and you eat them on their own. Um, it turns out that, you know, since I started working in the restaurant industry, pickles are good uh, on everything. Pickles yes. can be made out of almost everything. Mm -hmm. Pickles are an amazing way to use up kind of old or wilted or limp produce of all kinds. Slightly soft, maybe not so crunchy. Exactly. If, use it. Yeah, if you're turning them into pickles, they don't have to be uh, crunchy at all. In fact, sometimes you want them soft. So there are all sorts of different ways that you can make veggies, um, mostly veggies, but there are other things you can do um, into pickles. So we're gonna talk about a couple of those today. It's gonna be pretty basic, pretty quick. Uh, forewarning, we have four children in the house. They've been shoved outside <laughs> with their dads, but they might appear in the video. You might get yeah, to see them. You so never know. Let's see how it goes. What we can start with is actually showing you what we already made this morning because yeah. um, pickles are so easy. They really just take the shortest amount of time. So this is a one-to-one, -one, so we'll talk about ratios, but basically this is cucumber with some bay leaves and uh, I think it's coriander seeds and pepper. Here are some turmeric pickled onions. Here are some, uh, this is cabbage with some cloves and caraway seeds. We've got, Mel, what'd you do in here? Uh, I did Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, mm. and carrots, and I did a hot brine for this one. All right, so we'll talk about hot and cold brines. Yeah, and then this one is cauliflower and carrots in a pickle juice that I had lingering in my fridge that I loved, and I've just reused it. Nice. Which is Totally doable. Yeah. Oh, so we should also mention that not only pickles themselves are great, but pickle pickle juice that you've already made is um, it's like flavored, delicious stuff that you can use for other things. So, for example, <gasps> pickle juice dressing. Pickle juice dressing, yum. Which is literally mayonnaise and pickle juice mm. and salt and pepper, and it is super tasty. You could do that with yogurt. You could do it with sour cream. Yeah. Uh, just taste it. And actually, maybe something I should mention is if you're going to reuse pickle juice, it's probably good to just give it a boil. Yeah. Um, because, you know, unless you are very prepared, you probably don't know how old it is or what was in it. Um, or, you know, how many times did you stick your fingers in the pickle jar? So, you know, just give it a boil. <laughs> but we'll no, also... <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Never. Uh, a couple of spices that are good to have around when you're pickling. This is bay leaves. That used to be coriander. <laughs> We repurpose here. All sorts of repurposing. Delicious turmeric. turmeric. Um, what else do we have here? Caraway seeds, celery salt, fennel seeds that we just finished, um, some mustard seeds, some white peppercorns, yep. and some whole cloves. I love adding these dry chilies. Mm. Yes, because I like some spice. Yum. So we are just going to show the very basics of pickle making and um, it's actually way more intuitive than you might think. You can do a, um, a very basic pickle brine, which Mel is going to show, which is a one to one to one to one. Yes, and that my one, that... favorite. Due to its simplicity. Yes, and hard to forget. Tanginess is just right for me. And, oh, okay, so. We are going to do literally one cup vinegar. So we're using apple cider Ooh. vinegar, yes. but you can use pretty much any vinegar, I would say, except I wouldn't really use balsamic personally because um, no. it's got a lot of flavor in it yeah. that you're not really looking for at a pickle. But um, I personally love rice vinegar. If you yes. can tell, I buy it by the gallon. So, one, one, and we're using tablespoons here, salt, sugar, and that, super simple, my favorite brine. Boom. Um, speaking of things that you would pickle that aren't vegetables, 
there's any Scottish viewers out there, <laughs> I, for one, growing up, ate pickled mussels. Pickled mussels. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> and, and it probably is. It I does. I have <laughs> But in the fish and chip shops, they would sell them in the jar. Interesting. Yeah, and my mum somehow managed to convince me at the age of about seven to actually eat one, and I loved it. I mean, so pickled <laughs> mussels. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm trying to think of an equivalent. Sure, you know, I, I, I would try it. Well, there's pickled herring. Pickled herring, sure, um, fair. Pickled yeah. fish. Pickled eggs. That I mean, I love. Is eggs, that like a pub thing? Pickled eggs. Do you eat them in the pub? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, pubs and fish and chip shops. Mm. Um, Got to have something to cut through all that fatty <laughs> grease. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so, so this. One um, to one to one to one. Let's pick a veggie. So here's some things that we have here. We've got cabbage, green cabbage. We've got uh, cucumber. Okay, so this cucumber was not so firm anymore. Yeah. It was a bit squishy, but that's actually great for pickles. So all of your Just, slightly sad produce yes. is great for this. Um, I wish we had red onion. I love pickled red Yeah, pickled red, red onion, onion is delicious. But we do have white onions. Yeah. We've got Could carrots. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so if you want your sugar and salt to dissolve a little faster, you can use hot water. But mm -hmm. you also totally don't have to. You can shake it and it'll help dissolve it. Yeah. Um, super basic. Again, so that was one cup of acid. Yes. That's, Acid of choice. Uh, acid of choice. So apple cider vinegar, rice vinegar, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar. You know, don't use your expensive champagne vinegar or sherry vinegar. And again, um, I, t I tend to save white distilled vinegar for like cleaning. But uh, this to me is my basic do anything with it vinegar. And you can buy that at the Asian supermarkets. It's super inexpensive. It is delicious. It's flavorful. Um, and I recommend it for lots of things. Oh, also, so this is unseasoned rice vinegar. If you see seasoned rice vinegar, that's actually already got salt and sugar in it. And that is something that you can just kind of pour over veggies and do like a very quick pickle. Um, and speaking of quick pickles, let's talk timing. So you can make this and like we have been letting these sit for maybe, I don't know, half an hour. Yeah. They're totally edible and delicious. The hot brine one, I uh, I boiled the brine and then I put the vegetables in for like a minute um, just to soften them a little bit. Only because, personally, I'm not a fan of the raw cauliflower. Some people love raw cauliflower. I love raw cauliflower. Yeah, so if um, I made pickles with right. cauliflower, I probably wouldn't You would it. do cold, yeah. I would do, and I would boil it. So, so it's just a just matter preference. of preference. Yeah. If it's something that's a really hard vegetable, consider just bringing it to the boil with the brine and then letting it cool. And um, if it's something that's really soft already, like pickles, you totally don't need to do that. Onions, you don't need to do that. Cabbage, you don't need to do that. Um, but again, also if you want a lot more flavor, you can boil the brine with all of the seasonings in it, um, yeah. all of the spices and stuff, and then pour it over your, uh, when we make, you should make cabbage pickles in our restaurant, um, then you would boil all the seasonings with tons of spices, and um, oh, onion scraps we put in for flavor, garlic, fresh garlic is good in these pickles. You can smash some garlic and put it in and then you just pour it uh, over, you pour the hot brine over the raw cabbage. Um, and the reason I was showing you guys was to talk about timing. The, they're ready to eat whenever you want to, but the longer you leave them, the more mm -hmm. flavor there is. And these are quick pickles. They're not um, canned or put up or fermented. So these live in the fridge and you can keep them for, you know, a couple weeks, a month. Uh, if the if the liquid starts getting cloudy and gross, then don't eat them. That's, you know, kind of the, uh, yep. the motto I live the by. The smell test. Yeah, if the things, test if things start to look and smell gross, don't eat them. So. All right. Do you want to show us a pickle? Yeah. Okay. So I, okay. There's a couple of different things about ratios that we can talk about. Um, Mel made this one cup acid, one cup water, one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon salt. So that's the easiest basic brine because it's one, 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 one cups, yep. tablespoons. If you want super tangy, you can go three, as high as three parts acid to one part water. So yep. that would be three cups of vinegar to one cup of water. I have played with that. I thought that I, I love tangy 
And then I did the three to one right. and it was too and much. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, you can go yeah. that far. It's all about your taste. It's pretty intense, though. So. so then on the other direction, you can go super um, low acid. So you could go three one in the opposite direction. You could go three parts water to one part acid. Yeah. So three cups water to one cup of vinegar. Or obviously, you know, that's the nice thing about ratios. If you only have this tiny amount, you've got like one little end of a cucumber left. Don't throw it out, make a tiny jar of cucumber pickles. Um, so that's why it's nice to get comfortable with ratios because you're not doing, uh, you know, X measuring, or something. Measuring, right, you don't have exact. To measure. And the nice thing is that we have learned over the years of making pickles is that you also don't have to have an exact ratio in mind when you start. You can say, all right, I basically know that I want a low acid pickle um, and then it's helpful to have more sugar. So that kind of brings out a lot of the flavor of the vegetables and um, you can just taste it and see what you think. Um, does this want a little bit more sugar? Does this want a little bit more salt? Should I just toss in some different seasonings? And I kind of just like to play around with whatever I have. Um, that's the way I tend to cook anyway, and it means that it's really easy to make a brine tailored to what the vegetable that you have. So um, for this one, I'm gonna make a really low acid one because I think that cucumber pickles taste really nice with a little extra sweetness. Yeah. So let's go. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so good. <laughs> I'm gonna go quarter, a quarter of a cup of acid. So it feels like, you know, maybe I'm gonna need a cup of liquid here, probably less. Maybe I'll put in some onions too. Let's just do some cucumber and onion pickles. Pickled onion, another Scottish favorite. Pickled onions are the, so the, good. The little, uh, we called them silver skin onions, the little tiny ones, pearl onions oh, maybe. Oh, pearl onions, yeah. Right, pearl yes. Onions. Oh, those ones, big hit in Scotland. So I'm just gonna do a bit of hot water, make it easier for the um, sugar and salt to dissolve, but we probably don't need to. We're gonna do three to one and this is a whole cup. I'm gonna add a bit of extra sugar. Let's try a tablespoon of sugar, and let's try, eh, you can see how exact I am about this. It's like, <laughs> it's like a half tablespoon of salt. True and May style, no measuring. May style. <laughs> I'm gonna measure that up, and I'm gonna taste it. Um, you know, if you wanna be extra clean about things, use a clean spoon, taste it, don't put it back in. Um, Kind of not the way I do things, but I'm gonna, you know. <laughs> but we we're do, at home. Exactly. Do as I say, not as I do. So let's taste that. Oh, that's actually kind of perfect. So I'm just gonna pour this over here. Yeah. That is one part acid to three parts. One part acid to three parts water. Yes. Now, we're coming into spring here. Um, we're in spring, sorry. Weather's getting a bit warmer, and I'm definitely going to be start uh, getting on the banh mi train. Mm. I love the banh mi, and this is how I'm going to have a fridge full of pickles, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so a couple things. I mean, we're basically, we have shown you a couple of different kinds of pickles. Um, that's really all we wanted to share with you today, but also yep. uh, we'll talk about a couple things that you can do with these pickles. So, yeah. Mel makes awesome banh mi. Banh mi. Oh, I can't um, wait. That is a very exciting thing. Um, you can put, now that I have come to appreciate what you can do with pickles and any kind of veg. And how versatile. How versatile So they are, versatile. Um, you can chop up your pickles into tiny pieces and mix it into butter. You can chop up your pickles into tiny pieces and mix it into mayonnaise. It's kind of like a tartar, tartar sauce. sauce, right? Oh, yeah. Oh god, I love that. It's so good. Mm. Um, you can make dressings. You can put your pickled vegetables. So for me, almost any kind of grain. Um, I like to have something cr like. Let's say you're making a porridge. Let's say you're making, um, you know, cooked quinoa or rice or any like a rice bowl. I like to have a little bit of crunch. I like to have something a little bit fatty, and I like to have something with acid. Yes. And pickles deliver the texture, they deliver the crunch, they deliver the brightness that you want, the acidity. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit of pickles on so many things. Sandwiches, noodles. Oh, um, you know pickles in fried rice? <gasps> oh, yes. Takes it to the next level. Chopped pickles in yes. fried rice. You could literally put any of these pickles yes. onto fried rice, and it would be delicious. Yum. And uh, yeah, as you can see in making these pickles, I'm just putting on a little bit of whatever. So let's put bay leaf in there. Why not? 
So, you know, you can kind of play around. Yep. And um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, Yay. please feel free to write us messages um, and tell us how you like your pickles. What do you like to put your pickles in? And mm. we're signing off. Pickles for life. We're off to play with the kids. Bye, guys. <laughs> have a good weekend. Bye.